Hey, it's Joe Farrow with Geek Toolkit, and today we're going to talk about CES 2020. I'm going to show some videos just like I did in the last episode. This is going to be all about robots, though. I did one of these already on uh, things I thought were interesting, but this one we're going to talk about these guys, the robots of CES. I got a couple of robot videos I thought were interesting I wanted to share. This one right here is doing an electric car charge, and it's just showing that it can find the plug and get the plug in there. Now, it's quite a bit slow, but I'll show you some robots later. And what you, what you typically do at CES is you see a concept like this, you see a capability of another device, and you realize that the future is really going to be a combination of these. So keep in mind the speed later on when I get to the manufacturing robot. What I think is cool about this is, I, like I have an electric car, I'm really lucky to have a, a Prius Prime, and I'll talk about that in a future video, but the thing about it is if I go to park in a spot that has a car charger there, Typically, it's a two-hour only parking spot because there's not many of them, and it's kind of it's a bit expensive right now to set up these electric car spots for parking. What would be cool about a robot, or like let's see, this is the one that VW had, um, is the concept of the robot going around and charging the cars. So then you park anywhere you want, the robot comes over to your car, opens it up, and charges it. And I just think that's a really cool future. Uh, it's definitely a lot better than having to move your car. So. Robots that charge cars. Here's robots that te teach speak <laughs> teach people English. Maybe I should get one of these. This is Emmys. Um, and what's going on here? I'm going to pop the audio on real quick so you can see. There you go. So they're holding flashcards up and basically to whatever is uh, shown, and they're doing it in a race between the two robots here. Emmys is there to teach them English, um, and you know, there's a, it's a very international event, CES, so you've got quite a few different types of robots, things like this as well. <laughs> Excuse me, these guys, the fighting robots, this is, uh, oh, let's see here, I think I've got these actually loaded up. Yeah, here we go, the Ganker EX. These are up on Amazon right now for $4.99, and they are fighting robots. I think the thing that is, they just look awesome, but the thing that's really cool about them, let's see, I have another video here, is look at the controllers. You wear the controller, and then he, he turns his body to make the top of the torso turn, and he also, you move the arms individually, so you see there, it's like almost one-to-one. -one. Very, very cool stuff. Um... Yeah, these guys were cool. They were fighting robots. Like I said, $500 available now on Amazon. And they they were fun looking. Uh, this was just a fun one. This was like a little Iron Man licensed robot. But it popped up and it could have your face underneath the hood. I thought that was cool. It also had sensors under the feet so it wouldn't fall off or walk off of a uh, cliff. Uh, this is Key Tech. Uh, let's see. I think I should have these up here as well. Um, this is RoboSend. Let's see if I can find these. I have a lot of robots. There we go, Key Tech. This ro these robots here. Let's see. Well, these robots here are dancing, but they're kind of like a. They're, it's an educational robot, and they are very cool looking. There was something very different about these from all the other robots that we saw. They have lights along the sides here, and you can see these other configurations in the back. This is all the same robot kit there to teach kids STEM, uh, basically STEM lessons. And I'm going to go back and load them up again. Here you can see some other things kids have built. There's like dogs, there's uh, robots that are grabbing stuff. Very, very cool. Um, just a very cool robot for kids to build, I think. That, you know, I, I hear robots and, and Legos a lot, but often it's so complicated that I don't think that you get the variations like this as well. And I love this one here where it's on the window and it's actually like suction cupped on. What a cool idea that is. So that is, let's see, make sure I get the brand name here. So ClickBot, C-L-I-C-B-O-T, and it's keyirobot.com is the web, the website. So very cool that you know robot dances are shown at CES quite a bit as just like a, a cool show-off thing. Lots of fun. 
Uh, so I was talking about manufacturing robots and speed. This is OnRom, and what this is actually doing is it's a manufacturing demo that is picking up a tray here, and it's taking the pieces out of the tray. If you look at the back here, the, only the pieces are here. The tray is actually getting set down. And this is just an accuracy and speed demo, and OnRom does a lot of very, very cool work here's another one of their robots and it's going to do a bunch of stuff it's got marbles here in the middle let's see there we go and look at how fast it's manipulating these and how accurately so when i talk about like robot speed in the future you know companies like armrom really can do some amazing amazing work and when they do demos at ces it's really impressive this is AOI Erica. This is actually uh, A0I Erica. This is a newscaster. And I'm talking to her in the video here. Let's get that going. I think I asked. Okay, so that was fun. I was having fun with her, but the thing to watch for this Android style robot is the eyes, the way she blinks, uh, the facial expression, because I'm going to show you a robot later that is not as clean as this. But this was really, really well done. Let's see. She actually has videos. Oh, I, here we go. That's her doing a newscast, and she can do it in Japanese and English. She can work 24-7. Uh, they've had a number of interviews. This is up on Facebook, the Android Erica Facebook group. You can see videos of her. And I just thought that was a really cool use of an Android and also a really good implementation. Uh, like I said, I'm going to show you one that's not so good later. This one here, uh, let's see, this is almost like an Alexa, except for it's also a friend. You can see the robot here in this video is greeting this person in the morning. It doesn't have much of a battery life, but it's got the conversational ability where you can talk to a robot, the robot can talk to you. It's got an emotion, that's what this heart is in the in the front. And um, it's just a very cool robot, it's called a Peebo. Uh, now this one here, let's get audio going. So he says, humans, time travel works. What year is it now? It's basically an Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, robot that's done up and everything about it felt off. Uh, it's a very impressive tech. The facial expressions, it actually has like snarls and, and you can see like the eyes and stuff. There's multiple things going on in the facial expressions. But the leather, the jacket looked fake the hair looked wrong like everything about this was the opposite of aoi erica and where she was a very elegant android he was a very creepy one uh that being said the technology is really cool the facial expressions i think will get better in the future but we've got a different time uh uh uncanny valley here that is just when i saw it in real life instead of like seeing the uncanny the uncanny valley you see on uh, like a video game, when you see it in real life, it's unsettling. It's the best way I could describe it. So that was the Arnold robot. Uh, this one here is an open source robot called Ricci. Um, and this is from a company called Pollen out of France. What I liked about this, besides the robot being dressed like the other people, is this robot is very friendly looking, very cute looking. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so this is some, I'll play this video while I'm talking over it. This is some other things they want to have him doing. And you can see, you know, he's cooking, he's handing out candy and stuff, but he's very friendly. Uh, they have one where he's actually the person that's, yeah, here we go, here, <laughs> the concierge. I love the antennas. And uh, the arms, the way the arms are done, I thought was really well done. He's also got the uh, three uh, axis neck, which I've seen before. 
I wanted to show this character here in Move. Now, this wasn't something from CES, but if you like robots and you're following this stuff, then Richie reminded me of InMove. InMove is an open source 3D printable robot. Uh, and what's cool is you can kind of start from any aspect. You can print like the arm and get the hands working. You print the face and work on eyes and mouth movements and such. And it's just a very, very cool looking, um, very accessible robot. They've done a lot of cool stuff with them. He's got, typically they'll do, put a connect in the middle, but it's very open source and very modular. And there's a lot of um, add-ons and enhancements that have been done. I've also seen the three axis neck on, on in move here, but yeah, just another cool thing. If you're into robots, you should definitely know about in move and it's similar to Ricci. Ricci's cool because one of the things I really liked about him is they showed, they grabbed his arm and they moved it and they said, this is kind of like, you know, if you're teaching them a motion, the other thing is it's programmable in Python has a, um, open source system and a, an AI system on top of it. So, very, very cool. You can see TensorFlow being advertised in the background there. Ah, uh, yes. So I've been seeing videos of transforming robots, but uh, this one here, uh, this is from Robosen. This is the T9, and this is on Kickstarter right now. I think it's $320, let us see, $300. Uh, there's, it's limited, so you know you're looking at about 300, 329. I think it's 375 when it comes out, but it is a transforming robot with a phone app that can control it uh, as a robot. It can move around or as a car. So very, very cool. Looks very familiar to a robot that I absolutely grew up with and loved as a kid. And I don't know. I just love that there's a button and it's like transform into a truck. There it goes. That's Robosen uh, T9. Here's another angle on the transform. I love the like the almost the martial arts pose there. Oh, these are actually some of the other movements. Yeah, so he does the arm gun uh, movements on the side. He does the other pose, and you see the guy here controlling him with the uh, phone. And then there you get your transform. Very cool stuff. All right, and then oh yeah, and then of course you get basically this RC car. That's what I have for robots at CES. I mean, there's definitely hundreds and hundreds of robots. I didn't really go to the show intending to uh, make episodes about it, but I did come back with a lot of cool media and decided that I should share it, see what people thought, if they were interested or not. If you are, subscribe. I've got one more video at least of footage I can put up. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think, what your favorite robot is, and what you thought of that Arnold uh, and Erica. Like, you know, was Arnold as creepy as I made him out to be? Uh, and that AOI Erica... Um, could you see her being used for stuff other than newscasting? I wonder if they could do sports casting in the future, like the stats robot or something. That would be kind of cool. So thanks for watching. Joe Farrow with Geek Toolkit. Until next time.